How is it that you look more beautiful every time I see you? How is it you know exactly the right thing to say? Can't help it. All I have to do is look at your smile. Thank you. It's beautiful. Pales in comparison to you. Champagne? I like the way the lady thinks. Well, I thought before we go to Ethan and Teresa's engagement party, I wanted to ask you all to myself a little bit. Ooh. I definitely like the way the lady thinks. I thought we would share a toast to Ethan and Teresa. It's going to be a big night for them. Yeah. I hope it's going to be a big night for us, too. To one incredible night. Oh, God! I killed Martin Fitzgerald! I killed Louise's father! Music to one's ears, isn't it? Once Luis hears this tape, he won't want anything to do with the woman who murdered his beloved papa. And the damage won't stop there. Luis will forbid Teresa from marrying the nephew of his father's killer. Yes, the tape of Sheridan's confession will kill all of our love birds with one stone. It's delicious irony, isn't it, Julian? Eve was trying to bring Sheridan and Luis together by her lie, making Sheridan believe her nightmare stemmed from guilt over her mother's death, not Luis's father. But all she did was load a gun for us to destroy not only Luis and Sheridan, but Ethan and Teresa as well. Speak of the she-devil. Eve has just arrived. Stop staring and start preparing yourself for the party, Julian. This is going to be one hell of a night. Wow, you guys, look at that limo. It is huge. I wonder who's in that thing. Oh, my gosh, it's Teresa. Ah! And Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald and Miguel. What's up, y'all? You're so beautiful. What's going on, man? I'm so happy for you, Teresa. Yeah, it sure looks like love agrees with you, girl. <laughs> oh, they're so right, Teresa. You look like a princess. And you, Pilar, look like nothing short of a queen. Yes, you do. You look like a million bucks. You both are too kind. Oh, doesn't Mama look beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Ethan actually had a team of hairstylists and makeup artists sent to our house. Well, it's it's wonderful to see you're so happy, Teresa. I've never been so happy in my entire life, Dr. Russell. And I hope Ethan keeps you that way for the rest of your life. And hey, you know what, y'all? I don't know why we standing outside here when the inside there is a whole bunch of fancy foods, names I can't even pronounce, <laughs> waiting for us inside. I said we go inside. Yeah, yeah he's got yeah. a point. I'm starving. <laughs> Mama, you look worried. What's wrong? I have a very bad feeling about this party. It doesn't make any sense. Why would they throw Ethan and Teresa an engagement party? Not when Ethan broke up with Gwen to be with Teresa. Well, maybe they've decided to forgive and forget. Believe me, Rebecca and Gwen are not the kind to forgive and forget. They're up to something new. Everything's going to be fine. Let's see. Come on. Mother, I can't take this much longer. I must look like the most pathetic creature on the planet. No, no, just keep your eye on the prize. Ethan, to be exact. Because any time now the news that Ethan is the son of our local police chief is going to be on the front page of the sleaziest tabloids in the world. And once Ethan finds out that his new fiancé gets a secret from him, he'll be back in your arms faster than you can say best. I hope so. I can't wait to see Teresa out on the street where she belongs. Well, Rebecca, it's a lovely party. I'm still not sure why you wanted to throw it for Eden and Teresa, but you have outdone yourself. Well, thank you, Ruby. There's no need to be suspicious. Gwen and I just want Ethan to be happy. 
Gwen, thank you so much. You're such a good friend. I'll always be your friend, Ethan. I, I wonder where Teresa is. Oh, I'm sure she's just making herself uh, more beautiful for her fiancé. But uh, I assure you, Ethan, that this is a night that you and Teresa and everyone else here will never forget. I can't wait to crash the Crane party with the news that Ethan Crane is really Sam Bennett's son. We're going to have headlines for months after the fallout from tonight. Especially the reaction from Chief Bennett's wife. Yeah, she doesn't have a clue. Mom, I got a party to get to with one hell of a present for Ethan Crane. Are you sure you have to go on the party tonight? Now that you're carrying some precious cargo, I just don't want you to overdo it. <laughs> I am fine. You know, I have done this a few times before. Mm. How could I forget? We have such wonderful kids. Would this be any more depressing? I'm not even excited that my mom's pregnant because I don't have a soul. Well, at this point, only you can see and hear me. Hey, so what are you doing here, Hecuba? I wanted to play a little game of gin rummy. What the heck do you think I'm doing here? I wanted to make sure that your parents go to their little shindig so that you and Charity can be alone tonight. <laughs> I already got Miguel to go to the party, and now I want my soul back. You will get your soul back when charity is destroyed. Are you okay? Yeah, charity, I'm fine. They make the most beautiful couple. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have a great time tonight at the party. Go to that party tonight, and Grace, you just cannot go. Shut your bratty cousin up, Kay. You must make sure that your parents go to that party. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places, and kiss the lips of the one who could think so sweet. This is the second time tonight you said we shouldn't go to the party. Why? I don't know. I just have a really terrible feeling that something bad's going to happen to you tonight, Aunt Grace. Look, the last thing we want to do is upset you. You know, I really think we should stay home. Don't just sit there, Kay. Get Ma and Pa out of the house. Or your soul is toast. Dad, you guys really should go to the party. I mean, I know how much Mom was looking forward to it. Okay, that's very sweet, but... I'm not going to leave Charity if something's wrong. No, Charity will be absolutely fine. I'm going to be looking after her. You'll be looking after her, all right. Charity, can you tell us why you don't think we should go? I don't know. I just, I have a bad feeling about it. But look, that settles it. We're staying home. No, you guys have to go to the party. Now, why are you saying we have to go to the party? Um, it, it's just that 
because... <sighs> Charity, what's wrong? Sam son, 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 Teresa, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, wow, you look beautiful. Or oh, you make a stunning mother of the bride. Thank you, Rita. The night has barely begun and it is already magical. Oh, Teresa, every moment I spend with you is magical. Well, I, I want to thank you all for coming tonight to celebrate our love. So, just come on in and have a good time. That's what tonight's all about. <laughs> Surely, Ivy, you can't be so bored already that you're already bothering me. I wouldn't be quite so quick to dismiss me, Eve. I just have a little friendly advice for you. Friendly? I didn't think you knew the meaning of the word. Well, your daughter, Whitney, and Chad certainly seem to be getting friendly. Do you really think that's a good idea to let them get so close? I thought you were off that kick, Ivy. I told you that my baby died. Chad can't be my son. No, I wouldn't be so sure. Julian and Alistair can't be trusted with anything. What if Chad is your son? Your son, Julian. You're sure your plan will work? Oh, it's absolutely foolproof. Sending that email with the news that even the stand in front of the Silesia tabloid in the wrong was a stroke of genius. Yes. I guess we did do pretty well for ourselves. And once Ethan finds out that Teresa knew the truth, he'll be through with that lying slut. <laughs> I cannot wait to see her look on Ivy's face when her secret is exposed. I just wish I didn't have to wait so long. Where is that reporter anyway? What reporter was that? Just what are you up to? Well, Rebecca, why do you have a reporter coming to this house? Well, I'm sure you must agree that we need the right kind of uh, media coverage for this sort of a uh, gala event. So I already invited a reporter from the New York Times and one from the Washington Post and several from some other well-respected newspapers and magazines. That way, the tabloids can't print any wild and untrue stories. Well, you do have a point about that. I wouldn't want the media saying anything unkind about my son. Still, I don't quite understand why you've gone to such great lengths for this part. Well, I've already told you. Ethan is like family to us. And what better way to show him that we care than to be supportive of him and his new fiancé? <sighs> But I don't buy it. I know exactly what you're up to, and I think we ought to talk about it right now. Excuse me. Could you see to it that somebody fixes this arrangement right away, please? Pilar, you are in serious trouble. What's the matter, Ethan? I'm just kidding, but you are not here tonight to work. And you are an honored guest. Well, my Ethan is right. You are here to celebrate just like everyone else. Well, I was hardly working. I just saw something that needed to be done. Well, as your future son-in-law, I'm going to make a request. That you not look for things that need to be done tonight. 
Thank you. Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment. I talked to Mr. Parker about some golf tips. I'll be back. Um... Mama, you're upset. Can't you be happy for Ethan and me? I'm sorry, Teresita. I am happy for you, but you can't ask me not to worry. Why? Everything is perfect. Ethan and I are getting married, just like I have always dreamed. And Mrs. Hotchkiss and Gwyneth throw us a beautiful engagement party. Julian and Alistair Crane have been very welcoming, and Louisa Sheridan are happy too. So what can there possibly be to worry about? Well, in this house, there's always something to worry about. There are secrets everywhere. No, we deleted the files on my laptop. The proof that Ethan is Chief Bennett's son. Mrs. Crane, you and I are the only ones who know the truth. There's no way the secret will come out. There are many secrets hidden here, Teresa. The Cranes have plenty of them. And I'm just terrified. If they are revealed, the lives of you and Louise will be destroyed. I'll wait till later. Tonight I'm going to take you in my arms and I'm going to make passionate love to you. You do remember that we have a party to go to, don't you? Mm, the only thing on my mind right now is you. There's nothing on this earth that I want more than to make love to you. If we don't go to Ethan and Teresa's engagement party, they will be so disappointed. They keep promise now. I'm all ears. The minute the party is over, you're going to come back here and share our first night of love. Mm. Our first night of long life dark nights. I love you, Sheridan. I'm never going to let anything or anyone come between us again. We're going to play the tape for Luis first. I want him to look at Sheridan and see his father's blood on her hands. Oh, my. What a romantic moment that'll be. Yes, but let's not forget that Luis fancies himself as some kind of super cop. What if he thinks the tape is a fake? If there's one voice Luis knows, it's that of his beloved Sheridan. There's no way he can deny it's her voice on the tape. Oh, God. I killed Martin Fitzgerald. I killed Luis's father. You bastard. What do you mean you saw Sam, sir? I just have this feeling that your son is close by. That Sam's going to find out he has a son very soon. Well, you said earlier you thought Grace was having a boy. Grace is having that same feeling. Is that what you meant? It must be. But I really think it's a bad idea that you go to the party tonight. Sweetheart, if you want to stay, if we'll make you feel better, we will. Yeah. Look, I'll get you a glass of water, okay? For someone who desperately wants her soul back, you're sure not delivering the necessary goods. Would you chill? I'm trying. I'll get it. Charity, why are you purposely trying to upset Mom? I'm not. I'm really worried about her. Yeah, well, this pregnancy means everything to them. And if you stress her out, something could happen to that baby. What's up, TC? What's going on? You left us hanging at this awful party. Yeah, hang on a second. Great. What do you think? Just don't want to go? I don't know if it's such a good idea. Mom, of course it's a good idea. You just found out you're pregnant, all right? Go out, celebrate. <sighs> Charity agrees. Is that true, Charity? I mean, do you really think Sam and I should go to the party? Stop worrying and go to the party. Have fun. Everything will be okay. Right, Charity? Well, we both think it's okay. We'll go. All right, man, we're coming. Mission accomplished. 
<laughs> now I'll be able to annihilate your goody goody cousin for good. <laughs> We're on our way. All right, man, cool. Uh, listen, Miguel's standing next to me. He wants to speak to you. Hold on. Hi, Miguel. How's the party? Teresa couldn't be happier. But I'd be a lot happier if you were here with me. I wish I was there, too. Miguel, has anything strange happened at the party? Have Rebecca and Gwen Hotchkiss done anything mean? Yeah, Mama was worried about the same thing, but everything's fine. Okay. If you're sure. I'm positive. I'll miss you, Charity. I'll come and check on you as soon as I can. Miss you, too. Bye. Okay, well, Miguel says that nothing strange has happened, so... I guess I was wrong. It's all right, sweetheart. No, I, I just think you're tired. <laughs> I know exactly what you're up to, Rebecca. Oh. Ivy, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you can stop with the innocent act. You're trying to score points with Ethan because you believe that someday you're going to worm your way into this house as Julian's wife. Ivy, how could you think such a thing? Oh, really? My husband might be charmed by this wide-eyed act, but I'm certainly not. So listen up. Julian and I are never going to be divorced, and you will never come between Ethan and me because we are too close. Mm. Yes, you do have a very close relationship. I guess that's because you've always been so completely open and honest with each other. You might be unfamiliar with the concept, but yes, we are. How heartwarming. Oh, I'm not through, Rebecca. Alistair hates scandal, and I have been very careful. There's nothing you can use against me that will allow Alistair to let Julian divorce me. So go ahead and have your little romps in the sack with my husband, because I will be... The only Mrs. Julian Gray. Whew. How dare that woman talk to me that way. <sighs> She's going to get what she deserves. The reporters ever get here? Oh, he will. And when he does, a bomb is going to rip through the Queen Empire. You haven't taken your eyes off that paper. Can you blame me? Cranes are probably having a grand old time at their soiree right now. But soon, they're not going to know what hit them. I have to make love to you, Sheridan. Right now. You're just going to have to summon up all your willpower because we have a party to go to. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather have our own private party? Yeah. We will have one later. And I promise it is going to be a night that you will never forget. Mm. Well, what if we start that party right now? <laughs> we can't. But there is something that I want to show you before we go. Really? Mm-hmm. Something for you to look forward to the entire time we're at the party. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, you have my full attention. What is it? <laughs> You'll see. But I guarantee you, once you do, you won't be able to stop thinking about it. Every time I think that you can't get any lower, you manage to sink to new depths. How could you just sit here alone and listen to your sister's confession? Actually, Julian's not alone. Good evening, Dr. Russell. Alistair. We were just chatting about how kind it was of you not to erase this tape. It's amazing how handy it's become, isn't it, Julian? Eve always has been one to help out a man in need. 
I won't let you use the tape. Oh, really? Well, how exactly are you going to stop us? Are you going to tell Luis and Sheridan that Sheridan committed murder, but you lied to protect them? I... I'll find a way to stop you. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Eve. You won't do any such thing. Because if you do, your two lovely daughters will learn all about their mother's sordid past. Sordid past it was. They'll find out every last detail, including the son you had with Julian that died. I wonder how your impressionable young daughters, especially Whitney, would react if they learned their mother was a cheap whore. Hey, Whitney. Hey. I just made up my mind about something. Oh, really? What's that? I'm going to own a place just like this someday. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to make it happen. I know I can do that. You know, I believe you can, Chad. Thank you. But just remember what my dad said about the cranes. How they steal from everyone in Harmony. I mean, it's okay to be rich and have your dreams come true, but... It's not really okay to sell your soul in the process. Yoo-hoo! Kay! What are you doing here now? I got my parents to leave, didn't I? Oh, yes, you did, my pretty. But the fun has yet to begin. Did you call this fun? Oh, I most certainly do. <laughs> With your parents out of the way, this joint is going to be rocking. You have given me the power to destroy charity. Tonight, she's going to die. I've got my wallet. I'll be right back. And Grace, promise me that you're going to be strong tonight. What do you mean? Did you, did you see something again? I just have a feeling that you need to be very strong tonight. As strong as you possibly can be. Well, are you sensing something about the baby? I don't know what it's about. All I know is that very soon, Sam will have a son. Very soon. I wish Sam wasn't coming to the party. And I hope that you're not going to try to get him back into your life again. I just wanted Ethan's and his father to be at the party, that's all. Just keep in mind that Rebecca and Gwen are also here. And if they were to become suspicious, it could get dangerous. Are we destroyed the papers, so the secret will remain secret. Well, Teresa, you look the uh, perfect beaming bride to be. I'm so happy. I can't thank you both enough for this party. It's everything I ever dreamed of. You just want to make sure you get everything you deserve. Oh, Gwen is so right. You don't have to thank us. It's going to be thanks enough to see the look on your face when you get your big surprise. And there's more. Oh, <laughs> the best is yet to come. And trust me, before this night is over, your life will never be the same. <laughs> Constantly amaze me. I hope I never stop amazing you. That would be impossible. Mm. 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 Come on. I can 
can tell by that kiss that you're as anxious to skip the party as I am. Mm. What do you say? You know as well as I do that we can't do that. This is too important to Ethan and Teresa. But I promise that we won't stay long. And when we get back, we will have all of this waiting for us. You do realize this is sheer torture, don't you? I promise when we get back, it is going to be sheer bliss. In fact, I thought that we would even start our night with a candlelit bubble bath. Oh, great. Now i got to spend the whole night thinking of you covered in nothing but bubbles. And that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Come on, we really have to get going. Come on, are you sure I can't change your mind? No, I want to be with you. We have to go. All right. As soon as we get back, I'm locking the door. I'm taking the phone off the hook. No one's ever going to get in our way again. How do you think your daughters, not to mention your husband, would feel if they found out you were nothing but a lying slut? You wouldn't tell my family. Oh, I thought you knew me better than that, Eve. Of course I would. And I have a feeling T.C.'s infamous temper might flare if he knew you had a baby out of wedlock, especially since the father was Julian, the man he hates most in the world. My baby died. How, how dare you bring this up? Father, please, show some sensitivity. It's devastatingly painful to be reminded of our dead son. Don't you even try to act like you cared about our son. You left me high and dry as soon as you found out I was pregnant. Well, I wouldn't put it that way exactly. Oh, really? Well, just how exactly would you put it? You were a coward, Julian. You didn't want to be burdened with me or your black son. You never even saw him. I uh, figured that was all for the best. Yes, the best for you and your father. This God knows that Alistair would never want a black heir to the Crane Empire. Frankly, discussing this is a colossal waste of time. The bottom line is that your son died. And in place of that adorable black baby boy is a true Crane, Ethan. This visit has been a pleasure as always, Dr. Russell, but Julian and I have business to discuss. Ah, oh, you two, you'd never change. You're putting me out now just like Julian did when he found out I was pregnant. When you ordered him to marry Ivy. It's time to let bygones be bygones, Eve. But before you go, I want to thank you again for this tape. I'll put it to good use. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to play the tape for Luis and Sheridan tonight. Got it. I'm all set. Who's that for? Julian. Tomato soup cake is his favorite. <laughs> all right. Well, bye, girls. Good night. Good. Have fun. Yeah. So, I guess it's just you and me. What do you want to do? Well, I'm sure we'll think of something. <clears throat> I could go for some popcorn. You want to make some? Sure. You may think you're alone, Charity, but you're not. I'm here. Your worst nightmare. Oh, I can't wait to see the look in your eyes when I push you into the depths of hell. <laughs> I know this is going to sound crazy, but I could have sworn that I just heard something that sounded like evil laughter. Think I could borrow my fiancé for a moment? Oh, of course, Ethan. By all means. Could I have everyone's attention?
Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. <sighs> well, now I stand before all of you as the happiest man in the world. And that's because of this woman right here. I feel my life began anew when I fell in love with Teresa. With her by my side, I've learned to see things a whole new way and to live life to its fullest in every moment. I love Teresa with all my heart and I am grateful that she agreed to be my wife. Would you all join me in a toast to the most beautiful woman in the world? Here, here. That's it. I will not stand here one second longer and listen to Ethan declare his undying love for that gold-digging tramp. I'm leaving. Listen to me. Look, I know it is excruciating to see Ethan and Teresa together right now. You just gotta hang in a little while longer. That tabloid reporter is going to get here any minute, and when he does, Ivy and Teresa will be blown out of the water. Can I help? Yeah, I'm a friend of Julian Crane's. Uh, I have a message for him. A message that's going to change his life forever. <laughs> 